Hey guys, hey YouTube family, how's it going? On this rainy day here in the Dominican Republic, it's raining cats and dogs outside. As always, expats lifestyle, I'm tired, X-P-A-T-S lifestyle, I'm trying to bring you the best content. More than just mangoes, man. It's going to be more than just mangoes. Hopefully, I'll always bring you something you could actually use. So, please, like, share, subscribe, donate to the channel so I can keep bringing you this content. All right, guys. I wanted to talk to you guys about something. This video encompasses a couple of things, actually. So, first off, obviously, when you come here, you're going to have to find an apartment. So... A guy recognized me a couple of weeks back, and he's still here. His name is uh, Terrell from, from Louisiana. Shout out to Terrell. What's up, man? So long story short, and he was actually, I was going to interview him for the video, and I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do it because I, I think the gentleman has a good story on really kind of some things that he's running into and how I'm helping him get through those things. So long story short, um... Getting an apartment, man. I talked about furnished apartments versus unfurnished apartments. So furnished apartments, that kind of goes without saying. And But just for the record, let's talk about it. If you're here, you don't know how long you're going to be here, you're just getting started, you might not want to invest in a you know, a whole bunch of furniture and everything else. Um, so it's a good situation. Cable, getting stuff turned on in your name. But let's talk about, that's what I did actually when I first moved here. They're not as cheap as you would think, by the way, in Susua. But uh, a little bit outside, they get a little bit better. At any rate, um, furnished, unfurnished apartments, let's talk about what, what they are. Unfurnished means and there's some very nice ones, very, very nice in Porta Plata, about 25, 30 minutes up the highway. Just not really that far. Porta Plata is nice. I go there and go shopping. That's where they have a super Walmart called Super Jumbo. And that's where I go shopping quite a bit. So uh, it's not, not that far. But anyway, he wanted to move out there. So long story short, he wanted to look at a, a, a two bedroom, one bath unfurnished apartment which I will put pictures up of the apartment that we went to see very nice actually very nice and the apartment was three hundred and thirty dollars US per month unfurnished let's talk about what unfurnished means here unfurnished here means no refrigerator you have to buy your own refrigerator. No stove, you have to buy your own stove. No air conditioning, you have to buy your own air conditioning. Now, the air conditioning is not as much as you would think. You can get what they call a, a split steer unit. Um, you've seen them up on the, I'm up at the top of the wall. Mine is, is right there at the top of the wall, as you can see. You can get a split tier unit for, I don't know, I think for this one, this is a big one, it's 18,000 BTUs, it's about 500 bucks. But you can get a split tier unit and, and it works really well. But, and you have to get all, you, all your utilities cut on, you have to get your lights, your cable and all that, which I had to get my cable and all stuff cut on in my name as well. But, if you don't wanna do all of that, you go, I mean, if, you, if you're willing to do all of that and you, you're ready, unfurnished is the way to go, $330. It was absolutely nice. And I'm gonna put pictures up. So stay to the end of the video. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I don't do a lot of rambling. I don't do a lot of going on and on. So it's gonna be real concise. But I'll tell you guys a story. So, Gentleman that recognized me, he said he came down here basically on the strength of some of my videos. First time I helped him, I've been helping him quite a bit actually. But he wanted to look for this apartment. So I took him. I took him to the unfurnished apartment. Very 
very nice apartment. Brand new. Brand new. Very, very nice apartment. $330 US. Two bedrooms, one bath. Extremely nice. And I'll put the pictures up in just a second. So we get there. And he thought, like a lot of Americans think, because you think unfurnished, you think it has air conditioning. You think it has, especially something that nice. You think it has air conditioning. You think it has um, a refrigerator. You think it has a stove. You think that because unfurnished in America, that's what that means. No, here you have to buy those things. So when we got there, he was like, man, I don't really know if I want to invest that kind of money in an apartment. I'm not ready to make that kind of commitment. I don't even know if I'm going to be here. I have a few things on the table uh, that if they come through, I'm going to leave. So I respect that. So long story short, I took him to see the place. He had some realtor lady he had found, Dominican realtor lady. Yeah, that's going to come back, by the way. That's going to come back. So he had this lady he had found that showed us the apartment. Um, the apartment was nice, very nice. I can't take anything from it. But he realized that he did not want to commit that type of dollars in a refrigerator, stove, and air conditioning, and all of that, and then turn around and potentially have to sell it. So long story short, he said no. He said, well, do you have anything furnished? She said, okay, I have some two bedrooms furnished. They're eight and nine hundred dollars. Okay, keep in mind, about three hundred thirty dollars for the unfurnished two bedroom. Now she's saying furnished eight to nine hundred dollars a month. I immediately, immediately said, "Tu mentorosa," and "Tu sabi tu mentorosa." That means you lying and you know you lying. It's it's no correcto precio. Tu sabi it's no correcto. Estamos in Puerto Plata. It's meaning, we're here in Puerto Plata. It don't cost that much here. In Sassoon, you can get a two-bedroom cheaper than that. You lying. So she got angry, of course. But I'm protecting him because you're full of shit. Let's just call a spade a spade. You full of shit. You lying to this man. You know damn well it ain't no eight or $900 for no damn a furnished apartment, two-bedroom. You think we that damn stupid? So I said, no, nah, that's a lie, man. Come on, let's go somewhere else. So when I said, come on, let's go somewhere else, she got a little angry. She said, oh, he know everything, talking about me. Yeah, I know, I know enough. So I said to her, I said, um, you know what? So I took over, and I wasn't trying to be rude to the gentleman. I wanted to help him, though. I said, hey, you know what? Look, he don't even need no two-bedroom. Do you have a one-bedroom that's furnished? She said, yeah, I have a one-bedroom that's furnished. So it was, it was down the road. It wasn't that far. Keep in mind, when we drove up, we saw a lot of for rent signs in the little area she took us. So, it's plenty of other options. Now, keep in mind this. Here, there's no apartment finder. There's no MLS. So, when you go, you're just dealing with what that particular person has. They're never going to show you anything else because they don't have that type of system. So, one of the things that I do is I help people find apartments. And, you know, there's a fee for it, but I help you. I help you and more importantly than just helping you because anybody can send you to an apartment I will actually go and save you some money now I'm gonna show you what I mean in just a second so so here, here is you know the apartment finding but long story short this is what happened she said okay I have one down the road furnished one bedroom for three for four hundred dollars we went to see it it was actually nice really nice I said okay and then she said, well, I have to rent it for at least six months. I can't take anything less than a six month lease. He said, no, I can't do that. I need month to month. She said, well, it's going to be more. So well, how much? She said, well, I don't know. I have to talk to the owner. So when she left, I said, uh, listen, man, I see this number right here. That's a, and, and it was in Spanish, but you know, my Spanish has gotten good enough. I said, man, that says one bedroom, one bath furnished apartment and it has a Miami number 305 area code that's the owner to this place I promise you take this number down and I know she has whatsapp or he has whatsapp let's whatsapp him and tell him we looking at this one bedroom and I bet you I said I'll, I'll make a bet with you I said I'll bet you a hundred dollars 
He said, nah, I don't know about that much. I said, I bet you $100 that that place is 300 to 350 and not no damn 400 She has built in the extra $50 a month. That's her money. That's what she's going to make on top of whatever commission he gives her for renting the place. He said, okay. So he called. Guess how much it was? The owner told him 350, not 400, 350, and he said he was fine with a month to month lease, not having to do a six month lease. Guys, you better watch yourself around here. That's that gringo shit I was talking about, that gringo price and stuff. That's what I was talking about. That gringo price and stuff, they do it to us. And somebody said a couple of things. They said, I don't like being called a gringo. Guess what? I don't either. I hate it because I don't feel like I'm a gringo. It's a derogatory term to me. But the bottom line is that's the way they see us. And when they see us, that means they're going to try to screw us. And they would rather not do business at all than to be fair with you. I want you to understand that. They'd rather not do business at all rather than be fair with you. So I'm going to show the, the, the pictures of the, of the unfurnished place was nice. And the 330 is actually a good price. Even if she was gringo and pricing us, it's still a good price. So guys, here's the thing. I'm gonna put these pictures up. Look at these pictures. Cause I'm, that show you what you can get if you're willing to furnish the place. Very, 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 very nice. And the other place that was furnished was nice too. One bedroom, she said 400, the owner said 350. You're not always gonna be able to get to the owner though. But anyway, and I'm gonna put, please like, share, subscribe, comment, donate. I'd like it all. As always, Expats Lifestyle, this is Ty, living life on my terms, you should too.